Chuyên What are you playing at, Malcolm? U.S. Embassy claims Australia has not been given a special exemption to President Trump's dual national Muslim visa ban. There is no special exemption for Australian dual nationals to bypass Donald Trump's tough new travel bans, according to the U.S. Embassy. Malcolm Turnbull on Tuesday said he had been given assurance Australian passport holders would be granted travel to the United States even if they had dual nationality with one of seven Muslim-majority countries. But a statement from the U.S. Embassy, provided to Fairfax Media on Wednesday, suggests no exemption applies to Australians, because dual nationals from almost every other country will receive the same treatment. Same treatment. Malcolm Turnbull on Tuesday said he had been given assurance Australian passport holders would be granted travel to the United States. Mr. Turnbull is pictured on Wednesday, Wednesday, President Trump is pictured on the phone to Malcolm Turnbull on Saturday. The statement reportedly came under the heading, Dual Nationals of All Countries, Special Rules for Certain Countries Dual Nationals. Reports Australia has been granted special treatment is contradicted by this statement, which suggests no dual nationals would be denied entry. On Tuesday, Mr. Turnbull said Australians would be able to travel to the U.S. following a phone call with Australia's ambassador to the U.S. in Washington, Joe Hockey. Joe Hockey, Mr. Turnbull is pictured with Minister for Foreign Affairs Julie Bishop on Tuesday. President Trump is pictured after signing the executive order last Friday. Australian passport holders will be able to travel to the United States in the same way they were able to prior to the executive order. The Prime Minister told Sky News. The assurance to Australians considering travelling to the US matches those given to the United Kingdom and Canada. Mr Hockey, has had assurances, confirmation, from the White House that Australian passport holders, regardless of their place of birth or whether they are dual nationals or whether they hold another passport, will remain welcome to come and go to the United States in the usual way. Mr. Turnbull said on Tuesday. He did not outright say Australia had been given preferential treatment. At the time, the confirmation may have been considered an exemption because dual nationals were earlier said to be affected. Protesters are pictured at John F. Kennedy International Airport, JFK on January 28 to rally against the executive order. Australian passport holders will be able to travel to the United States in the same way they were able to prior to the executive order, the Prime Minister told Sky News on Tuesday, Mr Turnbull pictured at the National Press Club in Canberra on Wednesday. Permanent U.S. residents have also been granted entry despite originally being covered by the ban. Mr Turnbull defended his decision not to publicly criticize the Trump ban which temporarily halts the entire U.S. refugee program and bans all entries from Iran, Iraq, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria and Yemen for 90 days. When I have frank advice to give to an American president, I give it privately, as good friends should, as wise prime ministers do, when they want to ensure they are best able to protect Australians and Australians' national interest, he said on Tuesday. Others can engage in commentary. My job is to stand up for Australia, Australian interests, and deliver, and that's what we've done today. Today. If she get on top and turn around, I'm busting. If she do that thing with the mouth, I'm busting.